In a previous tutorial, we talked about first class functions. In this tutorial, I want to expand on that concept by explaining higher order functions. Remember from the first class function tutorial, the fact that JavaScript functions are first class simply means functions are treated as values. So they can be passed around like any other value. So how does this concept of first class relate to the concept of higher order functions? And why are the concepts necessary? Well, let's first take a look at a definition of higher order functions. So higher order functions are functions that operate on other functions by either taking them as arguments or returning them using the return statement. So the fact that JavaScript supports first class functions makes it possible to create higher order functions. So the concept of first class functions explain how functions are treated in JavaScript. The concept of higher order function explains how we use them. The reason we use both of these concepts to discuss functions in JavaScript is it helps us to understand what is possible and therefore take advantage of the power of the JavaScript language. That is one of the huge strengths of JavaScript, the fact that functions are first class and that because they are first class, we can create higher order functions. Higher order functions is a major concept in functional programming. Now, the most common application of higher order functions in JavaScript is the callback. There are several methods in JavaScript that allow us to pass a function that will be used as part of that method. Arrays are a great example. I did a previous tutorial on the ES5 array methods that illustrate this. And I will include a link to that in the description section. However, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at the sort method. So let me jump to Sublime and we'll look at a simple example. Here we have an array. It contains things, building, car, bicycle, automobile, tree, house. And then we are doing a sort on that array. Now, looking at the items in, the, in that array, will this sort correctly? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Let me open the console. And I'll just display the things array. Sort actually does not create a new array when it sorts them. It sorts the array it acts on. And so it modifies that array as opposed to producing a new array. So if we look at the things array, we will see it sorted. However, notice how the sort is taking place. Uppercase letters, the B and the T are uppercase, are coming before lowercase letters. So it's not really in alphabetical order. So we're going to use the sort method to do a case insensitive sort. And this particular application, though a little bit different, I have taken from David Flanagan's book, JavaScript, The Definitive Guide. Now, in sort, you can pass in an argument. And the argument which you pass in is a function. Therefore, sort is a higher order function. It has been built to perform its operation with a function that we can pass in. So we could pass in a function here. And the function we pass in needs to be able to receive two values. And then it compares those values. So it's a comparison function. And it receives those two values of arguments and determines which should appear first. Now, the way it does this, the way it determines which should appear first, is if the function returns a negative number, the first argument will appear before the second. If the function returns a positive number, the second argument will appear first. If the function returns a zero, it means the two arguments are equal. So it doesn't matter which appears first. So the function we pass in needs to return a negative number, a positive number, or a zero. So one of three values. And then sort will use that to determine the order it places the items of the array in. So let's begin writing this new 
function. So obviously we're going to have act on things and we're going to use sort. Now we're passing in a function and we will pass in an anonymous function. It has two arguments. It will receive two arguments from the array at a time and then it must return a positive number, negative number, or zero so that sort can determine which order to put the items from the array in. So let's look at how we'd create this. First, we're going to declare a couple of variables and we'll just convert the arguments to lowercase. All right, so we have converted the arguments to lowercase, so we'll now use x and y to determine which should come first. So if x is less than y, we will return a negative 1. Remember, ne a negative number will indicate that the first argument should come before the second argument. Do another if statement. If y is less than x, we'll return a positive number. And finally, if none of those are the case, we'll return a zero, meaning they are equal to one another. So we have just used the concept of higher order functions. We were able to pass in a function and the sort method will use that function in its computations. So it will use it to determine the sort order. So the concept of higher order functions was used to make this possible. Now let's save this and see how our sort works. Refresh, and then I'm going to display things again, and notice our sort is correct now. Automobile, bicycle, building, car, house, and tree. So applying the concept of higher order functions using the sort method. If you found this helpful, go ahead and give it a like. If you'd like to further add to your JavaScript skills bucket, you can do one of the following. Click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away. Click the circle link on the left to subscribe to the channel. I release a new tutorial each week. Or click the link on the right to visit the All Things JavaScript website for a full list of courses and all of our tutorials that we've ever published. Thanks for watching.